What is up everybody, Jason aka Jester, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we finally picked a beautiful day. It's about 80 degrees outside. Uh, I know it's probably a little bleached out in the back. I'm working on some backlighting, but we'll get there. Uh, today we're going to be doing something I've seen on the internet, and it's pretty much going viral. So much so that I've heard that you cannot find certain items that it takes to make these in grocery stores because it's just such a trending thing. Today we're going to do the version I've seen online, but we're also going to put a gesture spin on it. Let's get over the board and I'll show you what we're doing. And the dish today that is taking the world by storm is none other than smoked shotgun shells. Now these are actually, they look really, really good. I have some concerns about uh, just exactly how we're going to make everything work. We'll get into that as we go. We're not doing one or two. We're actually doing three different varieties of these today. The first variety is going to be pretty much the same thing that I've seen everybody else doing online. Just to kind of prove uh, concept on this. For the first version, what we're going to do is we're going to take a nice country sausage. This is just a mild breakfast sausage. And we're going to mix in some uh, mild cheddar cheese. And I want them to be kind of cheesy, so we're putting a little bit extra there. And then something I don't see very many people doing is uh, I'm going to add a little bit of cream cheese. Now I've cut this down a little bit, but still wanted to clump up. So I think we're just going to try to incorporate that really well. And all we're going to do is mix all of this together. Let me get that all done and I'll show you guys the next step. From there, what you want to do is you want to take your manicotti noodle. Uh, I didn't have any trouble finding these. Apparently they're having a lot of trouble finding these in places. And I kind of just made a, just a little shape here. Kind of rolled it out with my hands to get it down to where I think it's going to fit inside that shell. And I think this will make the stuffing a little bit easier. So what we'll do is we'll just take it and we'll go right on the inside there and just keep pushing. The whole idea here is to get everything in the middle. You can also use your finger. But you want it to be fully stuffed on both sides. For the next step, we're going to be wrapping the whole thing in bacon. I've chosen this uh, Applegate bacon again. Number one, because I have it in the house. Number two, uh, it's a really nice bacon. Um, plus, it's also pretty thin cut. So we're going to be using that today. And I think a lot of the places uh, that I see people making errors in, at least in my opinion, is not starting this at the angle that the manicotti goes at uh, when it starts. So I think when you wrap this, you kind of want to go something like this and maybe overlap it just a hair on the end. My concern here is that this is gonna pull back and the end of this might end up getting uh, very crispy. So we kind of want to avoid that. And I want to overlap it a little, but not too, too much, because I do want to make it all the way down to the end. And that looks pretty good. They should look something like this when you get them done. Now let me get them all stuffed and I'll show you the seasoning. And then I'm gonna show you the other two varieties. And as we're working on this, I did want to share that a lot of the people that I'm seeing do this are actually taking uh, more of like a blocky cheese and then putting it down towards the middle and then stuffing both sides. I've chosen to go a different direction, which is mix everything together, mostly because I feel like it's going to give you a little bit of each thing in each bite. Not that there's anything wrong with doing it the other way. I just feel like you really want to get all your ingredients and all the flavors in each and every bite that you're going to take it in. So that's why we're doing it this way versus what some of you may have seen in other videos. So we do actually have just a little bit more stuffing left and I just wanted to make sure I had enough uh, manicotti noodles. I've got two packages and they're about 14 each in there. So we're gonna stop for the moment with these, the pork sausage ones, and I'm gonna show you that we're gonna, again, put a little bit of my favorite stuff, the Woody's Rub on there. Not much though, just a little bit to kind of get it just a hair flavor on the outside. And that's pretty much gonna be all we're gonna do to these. And these are ready for the smoker. Let's go ahead and uh, show you the other two varieties and we'll get cooking. The next version of this I think is going to be a banger. And shout out to David for sitting with me the other night and kind of come up with some concepts. Uh, this was one that he was a little nervous about and so am I. Because we're going to be starting with a pound of ground chicken breast. Uh, we're going to have to be super careful about double checking the internal temp on these. But I think this is going to make something kind of cool. What we're going to do from there is we're just going to take some uh, ranch seasoning, a packet. Probably not the whole packet, but yeah, only half to three quarters of it. And we're going to season the meat with that. Yeah, I'd say that's about three quarters of it in there. We're also going to be using the mild cheddar in this one. 
So let's get that mixed in. I think this is going to work kind of as a binder. And then, of course, I do want to add some more cream cheese because I think this is going to make it ooey and gooey and delicious. So let me get that all mixed up. I'm not actually going to show you guys these other two methods. Uh, it's the same process of stuffing and then bacon wrapping, and then we're going to uh, uh, season it just a little bit. So uh, since we've already covered that, just let me get it all mixed up, and then I'm going to show you the third version. And for our final attempt on this today, we're going to do something a little more gesturish. What I've done is I've taken some chicken breast tenderloins, and I've just cooked them down in uh, boiling water until I could shred them up. And uh, what we're going to do from there, I took a little bit of French Red Hot, and I mixed it with about a stick of butter. And we're going to just pour some of that in here. I don't want it to be overly done, I just want it to have a nice flavor coating on all of it. For this one, we're going to be using pepper jack cheese. This is a medium pepper jack. Something along that line. And then of course, we want to go ahead and put cream cheese in there because I do want to keep the moisture level up. One of the reasons I'm using a liquid inside the chicken here is because I'm a little concerned that the interior of the shell is not going to get completely done. So I wanted to add some type of liquid that could help uh, induce that. So let me get this part all mixed up and stuffed and wrapped and I'm going to show you guys these things going into the smoker. And that took a little bit longer than I expected but we did get everything done and what I'm doing here is I'm keeping everything completely separate because I have to track the temps on these completely separate. Over here we've got the chicken bacon and ranch. In the middle, I'm not too worried about this one, this is the buffalo chicken and then of course we have the original which is the pork sausage one over here. Uh, I think these are going to go off pretty well. And as always, we'll come down here real quick and uh, we're going to turn our machine on and we're going to go into the smoke cycle. And we're going to do this for about 30 minutes. Now I have heard tell that uh, the pellets that you're using in these Traegers makes a difference. And this is something I'm investigating, but I know that they do make some uh, pellets that actually smoke at higher heats. So hopefully here in a future video I'll be able to bring that information to you because I think that's going to be really important because I, even I would like to do that and not spend the extra half hour waiting for everything to get smoky. But we're going to do 30 minutes smoke on this and then we're going to crank up the heat to about 300 and from there I expect it to be about an hour or so. We'll see you guys then. And about 30 minutes has gone by and we are going to turn this up to 300 which is a little bit typically higher than what I would cook something at. Uh, the video that I saw, the very first one, he cooked them at 300 in a preheated smoker which we don't have, obviously we're at 147. Uh, but it was 300 preheated, it took about 40 minutes, plus about 10 minutes tack time. Uh, I think these are going to be closer to an hour, and maybe even on the ground chicken ones, an hour 15, an hour 20. We're not going to be taking any chances with those. So let's go ahead and get up here and let's take a peek. And oh wow, they actually got some good color on them. And I'm feeling pretty good about them. Of course you've got your, uh, this is the ground chicken ones over here on the left side. So we're going to be paying really, really close attention to that. That has to hit 165 in the middle on all of them. These here are the buffalo. I think they'll be fine. And then the pork sausage, you know, 165 probably on those as well, just because it is a ground meat product. At any rate, let me let these go. Uh, we'll come back and check them in about 45 minutes. If we have some ready to go, I will sauce them up then. And then uh, it won't be long after that before we're ready to eat. And just like that, these things are actually done. It's only been about 45 minutes. This is one of the chicken ones, and I've tested all of these. But if you come in the middle of that, they're reading over 200 degrees. These are finished. Let me go ahead and show you what we're going to be doing for the last bit. Uh, for, the, for a few of the chicken, bacon, and ranch, I'm going to be using Famous Dave's Devil's Spit on just a couple of them. Those are going to be for me personally. I'm actually going to use this mixed with some ranch for the rest of them that's going to be more of a dipping sauce. As far as the buffalo ones go, we're just going to be coating them with a little bit of our buffalo sauce. And then for the pork ones, we have some sweet baby rays because it was requested that we do a sweeter sauce and I tend to agree with that. So let me get these all coated up and I did want to mention too, as you can kind of see here, uh, we did get some pullback and I was concerned about that. So some of those edges might be just a little crispy, but hey, we're going to have these on the board in about 10 minutes and uh, we'll find out firsthand. And there we have it. Now for the final bit, I just want to show these off a little bit. These are the pork ones. These are the buffalo chicken. Then of course over here we've got the chicken, bacon, and ranch. Uh, I think they came out and looked fantastic. It did pull just a little, but uh, I'm not going to harbor on that too much. 
Let me show you what the inside of these guys look like. You can kind of see that it all kind of cooked in and it looks like the noodles are completely done. So let's take a bite of one of the pork ones. I'm going to go from mildest to spiciest and then uh, we'll just kind of go from there. Let's see how this tastes. It's got just a little crunch, but the noodle is done. I'm also eating off the end, so I think the middle is going to be way more tender. That's pretty dang good, though. And I know it's obligatory, right? The YouTuber says, oh, it's pretty dang good. Believe me, if there was something wrong with it, I'd tell you. All right, so for this one, that's the chicken bacon ranch. I think that looks amazing as well. Uh, for this one, we're going to do the non-sauce. And I'm going to use this here, which is a barbecue ranch. And I think this is going to be a really nice additional flavor from this particular bite. Okay, that's the one I was really thinking was going to be fire, and guess what? That's lit. That is really, really flavorful. The ranch packet, the seasoning added so much to that meat. That is so good. Finally, we could just dip this in the ranch as well, but I think we're just going to go with this one um, as it stands. This is the buffalo chicken. Looks really nice. Let's have a bite and see how much juice we get out of this one. Okay, and there's the hit of spice behind it. I think maybe it could have been just a hair juice here. I'm not saying it's dry, but it could have been just a hair juice here. But you get all the flavors. I get the pepper jack, the creaminess. Uh, I get the, um, the spice of the buffalo and the really nice salty flavor of the bacon. I love it. If you guys like this kind of content, think about uh, giving the video a like. And maybe hit the subscribe button, because we're going to be doing a bunch of different stuff like this coming up in the uh, near future. Anything from cooking to gaming to IRL stuff. I'm going to go learn to fly a drone, I think, tomorrow. We're probably going to make a video on it. It'll probably be hilarious, because I have no idea what I'm doing, necessarily. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!